Hello everyone. So in this question, this formula is given to us and we are said that this is the formula for the regular falsi method. Okay. And here this A and B are the two points between which the root lies. Okay. So we have to tell whether this formula for the regular falsi method is correct or not. Okay. So you can pause the video and you can think first by yourself and then I will explain the answer. So I will run the timer. So I hope you have got the answer. So the correct answer is option A. That means this formula is correct. This is the regular falsi method to find the roots of A algebraic or the transcendental equation. So although I have explained that how this formula is actually derived in one of the video of the regular falsi method, so you can find that video in the numerical method playlist and I have explained the this method using the working example in the C program also there. Okay. So just here, uh, let me show you. Let's say this is a function, this red color fx is a function and there are two points a and b. Okay. So this is a comma f of a and this is b comma f of b. And this is the straight line that is joining this a and b. So this point that is this x is the root of this function according to the regular falsi method. So these are the steps to find this x. Okay. So we have just find this slope. Okay. So let's say this is a a point this is a b point and this is a c point okay so what actually we have done is we have said okay this slope of a b that means this okay and the slope of a c that is complete this slopes are equal okay so this is the slope of a b okay and this is the slope of a c okay so this is the slope formula you know okay y minus y1 upon x minus x1 that we have studied in our math classes right so if we put y equal to fx equal to 0 okay in this total equation then we will get this thing and after solving this we will get this okay so this x is the root that is this is the method to find the root in the regular falsi method okay so i hope you have got the answer that how this formula is getting derived and for the more details you can check the regular falsi method video in the numerical method playlist so if you have any comment or question please write down into the comment box so let's move to the next question